Hello everybody, my name is Julia and I'm here to do a reading for Pisces. This is your September 2021 reading and um, as I said it's for Pisces. This is a general reading so it's not going to resonate with everybody. Um, if you're drawn to this video though, if you're drawn to the title, you're drawn to watch it, there's a good chance there might be something here that's here for you. Um, it doesn't all have to resonate. You take what you can. Everything is energy. So anything that aids or helps the process of self-reflection has got to be good, hasn't it? <clears throat> so I'm going to do what I did last month, which was a five card spread. Um, it's a specific spread looking at a specific problem, looking at different aspects of that problem and what the resolution to that problem might be. Um, I'm going to draw five tarot cards and two oracle cards and I will clarify those if necessary. So for Pisces, for September, your general bigger picture energy is friendship. a gorgeous card isn't it? Can you see that? I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. I think anybody that we consider a good friend, um, however long they're in our lives for really, um, there's always a reason. We always have things to offer each other along our journey, along our path. Um, so I have another oracle card here just to set the scene and give us some bigger picture energy. This is my rebel deck. Um, it's a little bit naughty really. There's a lot of swear words here. It's quite blunt and to the point it tells it like it is. But I think it's a brilliant little deck of cards actually. It cuts to the chase. So for Pisces, <clears throat> for September, for some bigger picture energy, we have ooh, <laughs> eat your fucking vegetables. Eat some shit made by Mother Nature. Wow. This would suggest, Pisces, that you've perhaps not been taking care of yourself or of your diet, certainly. Um, I don't know whether that will reflect in the tarot cards that I draw. Um, it looks like you have some bigger picture themes here of friendship and diet. <laughs> so there you go, Pisces. Let's see um, what we get in your tarot cards. So card number one will be the problem. It's kind of the bigger themes of the problem, the problem at hand. Card number two is um, the conscious elements of this problem. So it's things that you know, things that you're aware of. That could be other people, your work, money, anything really. Anything that you know is influencing this problem. Card number three is the more unconscious influences of this problem. And this might even be things that you're not aware of yet, Pisces, things you haven't seen. Um, things like drives, feelings, triggers, um, wounds, trauma, things that might be influencing this problem for you. Card number four 
is what is needed for resolution of this problem. It's the options and possibilities, things to consider, things to weigh up. And card number five is the possible outcome and it's the resolution or at least, at least an understanding of this problem. So we have card number one. We have the Queen of Wands. Card number two. We have external influences, things that you are aware of. And that's the Ace of Swords. Card number three. We have internal unconscious things, things, influences, things you might not be aware of. Card number four is what is needed for resolution of this problem. So it's, it's things to consider, possibilities surrounding this problem. And card number five is a possible outcome or the resolution or at least the understanding of this problem. So, well, <clears throat> I'm looking at these cards and I'm not seeing anything about the diet at the moment. <laughs> um, so the problem, the problem at hand here is the Queen of Wands who in her positive aspects is a very charismatic and energetic, almost magical feminine energy really. You can see her there with her black cat, the sunflower. This is a gorgeous, it's a gorgeous feminine energy, not necessarily a woman, but certainly a feminine energy. Um, if, if this is a person that is in your life that is a problem for you Pisces um, this could be this could be a person who perhaps has been burning the candle a little bit at both ends too much this person here they may be busy um, with other people, with other projects, with other things. Um, I'm not really feeling at the moment whether this person is you or if this is a person in your life, Pisces, that might be the problem here. I think this is a person in your life. This might be your friend. This might be the card of friendship here, mightn't it? This might be your friend. Perhaps, um, I mean, the Queen of Wands is gorgeous, to be honest. She's got a beautiful energy. Um, if this is a person in your life that is your friend, perhaps, Perhaps you'd like it to be something more. The Ace of Swords, the external influences, things you're conscious of and things you're aware of. Well, this is like, this is like the Sword of Truth, isn't it? It's the Sword of Clarity, of Truth, um, of Intelligence, of Intellect, of Understanding. Um, It's like the first step towards an understanding, um, towards a, the clarity of a situation. Yeah. Perhaps that's the thing here. Perhaps you're not sure. Perhaps you're trying to work out what this person means to you, perhaps, Pisces. Um, what the truth is surrounding this friendship or this person, this, this 
lovely Queen of Wands energy here. Yeah. So in the more unconscious things, things you might not be aware of and you may not have seen yet of influences regarding this problem, we have the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is like waiting. It's like waiting for your ship to come in. It's like waiting for something to happen. Um, it's like you've been considering your options and you're now sort of waiting with bated breath for something to happen, I feel here. Things to be aware of, things to consider. We have the King of Wands. I'm struggling to know how to read this really. Um, I mean, the King of Wands could be your own energy. It could be somebody else's energy. Hmm. I think this card I think this card is urging you to do something, to be honest. I think what I'm getting here from your internal and your external tarot cards here is that you're giving this a lot of thought. There's a lot of pondering and there's a lot of thought here, but I don't see any action really. And wands and the king and queen of wands are all about action. Um, they're all about the doing of things, of making things happen. Um, yeah. And the resolution or the understanding of this problem, when we have the nine of swords, which... It's a little bit of a sad energy card here, really. It's a kind of, um, it's a little bit of a dark night of the soul, I suppose, really. It's like waking up from a nightmare, waking up, waking up to yourself. Um, yeah, I'm going to clarify these cards because... I'm just not entirely sure who's who here, I'm afraid. And the things to consider and the possibilities, the King of Wands is very definitely sat here looking in the direction. Of the Queen of Wands to the past. I think, I think that you're missing somebody. I think that you're missing somebody's energy. I don't know whether this person was just a friend to you or whether they were more than that. I think that given that you're the Queen and King of Wands here in this reading, I think perhaps they were more than that to you. I'm trying to think how the friendship and eat your vegetables fits in here, really. I, th I think that there's a waking up here from some kind of process of waiting for something to change. Um, and I do think that you're being called upon to do something about this. So we have the Six of Pentacles, so I'm clarifying here the cards that I've already got. We have the Hierophant. We have the Page of Wands. We have the Nine of Pentacles. The 
and we have the eight of wands wow so yeah it feels to me It feels to me that the problem is this person here is the Queen of Wands. I don't I obviously don't know if this is a man or a woman, but it's a very strong feminine energy, a charismatic and almost magical feminine energy. Plus we have the Six of Pentacles, which is a kind of giving and receiving kind of energy. Um, it's a sharing, harmonious kind of energy. I think the problem here actually is that this is something that you've had in your life and I think that you miss. I think that's the only way I can read these cards really. I think you've been looking for some... I think you've been looking outside of yourself for some wisdom, for some clarity, for some truth. Um for a new, new beginning, for some new potential of some kind. Um, I think internally, I think you've been feeling quite stuck. I think you haven't known, you haven't known how to act. I think you've been waiting for something to become obvious to you, waiting for something to manifest to you, to be given to you almost. Um, it's like, it's like there's a kind of youthful energy to this internal um, influence here in the page of wands. It's like, it's like you're trying to make something happen, but you don't really know how to, I don't think. And the things to consider here, and this is definitely making more sense now towards the end of this reading, we have the King of Wands and we have the Nine of Pentacles. And I think really as this is things to that are needed for resolution, things for you to consider and be aware of is that actually I think you need to feel comfortable and okay within your own energy, your own King of Wands energy here. Um, the Nine of Wands is a card of Virgo. Um, it's a beautiful card of independence, loving your home, feeling at home, feeling peaceful, enjoying your surroundings, um, feeling abundant, within your own home, within yourself, within your own life. It's a card of independence and enjoying life. And I think that that's what you're being called here to do, Pisces. is that whatever it is that you're waiting for, whatever it is that you're waiting to happen, I think you've got to do it for yourself. I think you need to invest in yourself. And for your possible resolution, your, your, or your understanding of this problem anyway, we had the Nine of Swords, which is a very dark and heavy card. It's a card of poor sleep, of not looking after yourself, feeling burdened. It's almost a dark night of the soul, really. And in the Eight of Wands here, we have a lot going on. We have a lot happening and a lot of communication. Um, a lot of things coming together to make something happen. Swift, inward, um, communication and I think that that's what's needed for you actually I think that's what we've got going on here I think that's what is occurring here isn't it in this card of friendship I think that 
I think that on your journey, on your journey out of this um, feeling of stuck, this looking back to the past and feeling stuck is that you need good friends, good connections, meaningful connections, people that provide that provide good communication, um, friends that are supportive of you, that allow you to express yourself and express what you need. <laughs> and I think that you need to look after yourself. You need to shape up with your diet. I don't know whether you've been having a few too many takeaways, um, overindulging in other things, eating too much convenience food. Um, it's easily done, isn't it? We all do it. I'm <laughs> quite guilty of it at times. Um, but I think you're being urged here really to clean up shop. That's what it feels like. To place some value on the friendships that you have in your life, the meaningful connections that you have in your life. Um, and on your home and on yourself. Um, of feeling yourself again. Yeah, I, th I do strongly have the feeling here that there's there's been there's a feeling of something having been lost here, and I think that you need to try and find a way to get some of that back into your life again. I'm going to look at the bottom of the decks here just to see what's hidden because um, that often gives us another little insight into the situation here and at the bottom of the Rider Waite deck we have the Two of Swords which is which is kind of fits in with your external and internal influences here in that this person here is not acting you know, they're not doing anything. They're just sat within themselves. You know, there's decisions to be made here, choices to be made. Um, and really this person does not want to face those things. They're sat there blindfolded, kind of stuck within themselves between their head and their heart. And at the bottom of the Lightseer's tarot deck, we have the King of Cups. Another beautiful divine masculine energy here. This man is kind of detached from the um, from the the ocean of emotion that surrounds him. Almost in a detached fashion is he kind of playing with the energies there, you can see. Not really quite part of it, not really quite feeling it. A very similar energy actually to the Two of Swords in some ways. Not really part of it, not really feeling it. Um, influencing influencing emotional states but not really not really being part of it yeah you need to get this is this is what i want to leave you with pisces you need to get back into your own energy the energy that has a sense of fun um, and life and mystery and fire and warmth and passion. And you need to look after yourself. You know, this woman here is just enjoying her home, her creations, her garden, everything that is abundant around her within her home, she's enjoying. 
think this is my advice to you. Look to your friends, look to your meaningful connections in your life. Communicate with your friends, express yourself. But I think life's not going to come to you, Pisces. I think you've got to go out and find it. And as a final thought, I'll say this one more time. Eat your veg, look after yourself, treat yourself kindly, treat everybody else kindly. Don't expect things to come to you without you putting yourself out there also. I hope that that resonated for somebody or for some of you. Um, I hope that didn't come across as harsh or judgy there. Um, I can only read the cards as I see them. And I can see and I can feel actually that this is a process of coming to terms with something that has happened and of coming to terms with yourself and your own your own single life here I guess you know the nine of pentacles this lady is definitely enjoying her life in a quite a solitary fashion really but she's not lonely she's enjoying her life yeah so there you go. If you liked my style of reading, um, it would be great if you would subscribe or like or share my videos. And I hope to see you again soon. Thank you.